Hey guys, we're here again today at Hard Racing doing our KTM RC390 project bike. And today we're going to knock off a huge chunk of weight by swapping out our stock battery, this monster there, down to this one here. And the weight difference, as we'll show you in the video, is over 6 pounds. And all this weight is about as high up on the bike as you can get since it's right in front of the gas tank so knocking off six pounds of mass from the highest point on the bike is going to make a really good difference not only static weight but obviously when you're flipping the bike back and forth left to right in the corners all that less mass is going to make a great improvement and we'll show you today how quick and easy it is to swap this out and install it right now we'll just show you side by side so it's shorter, narrower, basically every dimension is smaller. So another added benefit besides the huge weight savings is more room. Obviously the bike already has limited storage, but now if you do a power commander or another fuel controller, you can slide it in next to the battery and not lose any storage space. And obviously there are many uh, lithium batteries out on the market today uh, we've always uh, pretty much from the get-go been stuck on anti-gravity uh, they're just the owner we uh, personally know him well and his philosophy on batteries and his training and just basically everything he puts into these things is just top-notch all the connectors between the cells are higher level quality the soldering is just better quality. I mean, we've had pretty much a zero 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 one percent failure rate. I think one out of like five thousand had an issue, and we don't even know if that was the battery's fault or not. But needless to say, it's an amazing battery. Um, another nice thing about these uh, over the stock one, obviously, it's going to have more immediate kicking uh, cranking amps. Lithiums have a, a much more uh, output power in the very beginning um, it's pretty much the same reserve as the stock one but you're just getting a lot more kick in the beginning that's kind of one of the big benefits of lithium since they have a, hot, a lot more power and they continue to have power with lead acids every time you fire it over it gets weaker and weaker and lithiums pretty much don't have that issue until the very end so but as far as anti-gravity um, they've been making amazingly great batteries for a long long time now and they really put a lot of effort into these things to make sure that they're top notch. I mean, the fittings, the all, like I said, all the wiring inside. Um, they all obviously, as you can see, there's no load uh, balancer port on it, cell balancer. That's all internal. A lot of companies will have an external one because they're trying to cut down on costs, but anti gravity doesn't. They put theirs inside, so all you do is just throw on a lithium charger on it and it balances out all the cells internally so you don't have to worry about a port. So it's one thing to consider when you're getting a lithium is if you're going to leave it on a trickle charger it needs to be a lithium trickle charger or the other option is just disconnect the ground terminal and then you can leave it you know without any problems. These batteries in general can usually sit on the shelf or connected to a bike without the ground terminal on for upwards of 12 months without losing maybe like 5% of the charge so that's another huge bonus alright so to remove the battery the first thing you're going to do is pop off the back seat pull the little latch in there and pop off your battery door and once you get in here you're going to go ahead and loosen that bolt and that bolt obviously and unconnect the strap and then pull the battery out That's it. Quick, simple, and easy. Alright, and just for comparison, the stock battery. 7 pounds, 13 ounces. Anti-gravity battery. 
one pound, 13 ounces. So a little over six pounds weight savings. As you can see, putting it in, very easy, just put it in there and then restrap it down. Now, if you're not going to use any kind of fuel controller, or you don't want the extra room for whatever, you know, wallet or registration or tools or whatever, then the kit comes with some extra foam, um, high density foam that you can put in here and here to keep it from moving around. But we're going to be putting in a power commander in here, so we're going to leave this open for now. So basically all you're going to do is just connect up your positive and your negative, and you're going to use the included bolts that come with it that are special for these brass fittings. And the only thing you're going to have to do just a little bit, um, obviously these are, you can see these are square, and, uh, and these are a little farther inside from the edge. So just take a slight bend to the end of the tabs. You can even do it with your hands, and that way it can screw onto here without any problem. Alright, real quick tip also when you're um, connecting the positive, be careful you don't uh, touch the wrench with the metal frame while you're cranking it down you get a nice little spark. So do the positive first and then do the negative, but just be careful you're not touching the frame while you're tightening down the positive. And once you got them on there, just make sure they're Good and snug. <coughs> you don't want to over tighten them, it's just brass, but you do want to make sure they're snug. And then cover them over. And if you want a little extra protection, you can always put a little piece of um, electric tape over the top of the terminals since the rubber boots kind of just sit on top instead of uh, actually go over them. And just push it back into position wherever you want it. Put the foam on either side or other you know, tools or whatnot, and you're good to go. If you have any other questions, comments, or inquiries, just send us an email or check out our website or check us on Facebook and the forums, and we will get you taken care of.